Hi, YouTube. Uh, let's see, last time we finished up all of our side quests. Well, all of the ones that were available to us at the time. Uh, we're going to check in on some hunts. We're going to go read a letter or two or five, depending on how many are there. Uh, and then we'll return to Vivian Ninetales and push forward the Across the Narrows main quest. We didn't do any main questing on Monday. So, should be exciting. Let's go. What's the what's what's our hunts? Let's let me get ready to jot this down. Do you have new things to say? Did I ever tell you about the time I flew all the way to the bottom of the Zemeckis Basin? What did you find down there? A deeper understanding, Kupo. Is that a joke? Joke? You're telling jokes? From the outside, it seems so mysterious. Not a joke. Where does all the water go to? Why does it never fill up? And what's something else? Those were the questions I flew in to find the answers to, but instead I found something about myself. Still feeling good? I do feel good, yes. I can't swim. Yeah, so uh, for if you guys are watching this on YouTube, I'm sure we'll talk about it more as the stream goes along. I got stung in the neck. Right there. I don't know if you can still see it. By a bald-faced hornet. And it is not the most fun I've ever had in my life. This is another S rank. So the only we only have three we have three S ranks. Caravan of traders traversing the Velcroy told me of a colossal beast they had encountered on their journey. To hear them tell it, it had the aspect of a dragon, a lion, and a scorpion all at once. I contested that it might be naught but a mirage, a phantasm brought about by the desert heat, but the sweat which ran down their foreheads was cold and the fear in their eyes real. All right, so the trice... Trice phallic terror? I should, yes. <laughs> Do you want to see what got me? <laughs> uh, okay, so this is somewhere... Traversing the Velcroy. Colossal beast. The Velcroy. So the Velcroy in the well, Velcroy Desert. I don't know. I don't know if I have anything more specific than that. We still got to find this one, too. In San Brec, San Brequa, San Brec, there's it's in the woods. So San Brec woods. We'll go hunt these down at some point. And we know where Atlas is. Oh, that's fine. We're not quite ready to take on Atlas yet. Uh, okay, let's go read our letters. Um, but yeah, my pain is uh, my pain is is gone. It stopped. It stopped throbbing, uh, and honestly, it only I only notice it now when I when I like kind of like stretch my neck. It just it just feels really tight. Telemon Maid, from Mid. Thanks again for helping get the dungeon in order. Had you not rode gallantly to our rescue, I reckon poor Owain and them lot would still be stuck stilling Blightwater over a Bonner. I think that's Bonner. There's always room for improvement, though. So don't get your knickers in a knot should I come a-knocking at your chamber door looking for some more spheres and ash and whatnot. And Tail Makes Four. From Otto. Clive, there's but one crystal left needs cracking, and but one man who can do it. See that you don't miss. Again, that's really, I mean, the effort that went into actually penning that letter. I could have just told me that in person. You get itchy when it heals? I hope not. That would be annoying. I wouldn't love that. That's right. I can deal, I can, I can deal with the itch. We can put some cortisone on it or something. The... the the, the pain for a little bit was driving me up a wall. I'm, I'm glad that, that you said it was going to take 24 hours, and I was like, I was not looking forward to that. <laughs> but I think it's 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 all good now. Uh, and I'm not allergic. Clive, we learned. I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. I'm not here for mid. I need information on Ash. Uh, no. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't seem a shit blown to shit and splinters. 
If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. Then tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters! All right, all right, if it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? Okay. Floor time. One crystal left. Barnabas Tharm. The one they call the last king. Understand him, and you will understand the kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas. And barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. Insane Ninja Boy, thank you for the sub. Shockwaves around Valisthea. Tales Appreciate of you, bud. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843. And that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later. Quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray. A bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beast men and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Bring it on. Much of the we'll fight some orcs. has already been lost to the blight. And what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now. If only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast, and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. That would be Vivian, right? Isn't she originally from Ash? I can't remember. You see, Clive, you had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, mate? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard... It wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn me. All right, pump Probably the brakes. Mid, I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. I wonder if Ash serves as like the point of new Back again. What is it that you wish to learn? More side quests that here. popped. One must understand one's place in the This world. game is backloaded with side quests. I get okay, there's just one here. I have to I have to check the world map. Okay, all right. <laughs> it's just it's just one. It's just one. Don't freak out everybody. Don't freak out. It's just one. Blessing if you want to spend all your time. The true, yeah. If you if you love the side quests, hey, there's plenty for you. But there has been so many in the last half of this game. Uh, let's ask about Yote. It 
was the greatest honor of my life. To be appointed protector to his grace. I have served him in that capacity since he first began his journey across Valistia. Valistia? Is that how I'm saying it? I don't remember. The purpose of which was twofold. To further the Undying's knowledge of Ultima, and to further his grace's knowledge of you, my lord. Uh, after he learned of your survival, your brother insisted that we try to trace your movements. Thanks to the investigations of my fellow acolytes, we learned of your having taken the name of but Sid. Now? Our journey together is at an end. His grace bids me remain here and protect those you and he hold dear. So I bid you. My lord, if I might be so bold, please look after him in my stead. That's about the hideaway. Your companions are kind indeed. Everyone has been most welcoming. Lady Tarya has been especially gracious, though I know something of the medicinal arts, it is hardly enough to warrant the acclaim of one so skillful. I must admit. At first, I doubted that her praise was sincere. We undying are trained in what few simple skills might serve us in the field, but there is certainly no praise for those who excel in such endeavors. But I see now. That this is your way. You encourage each other. That each might lend their strength to the cause, no matter how seemingly slight their contribution. Yote. Is anything the matter? You seem troubled. Perhaps I might be able to help. My lord. Y yes. Perhaps you might. It's your brother. His condition continues to worsen, though he does his best to hide it. The lesion on his chest pains him more with each passing day. I had feared as much. There are certain elixirs which can ease the suffering of those afflicted by the curse, but... But? But his grace's case is severe. The drafts I have been able to prepare for him thus far have ceased to have any real effect. So I consulted with Tarya and certain of my comrades among the Undying about the possibility of finding something stronger. And thankfully, a recipe was found. The only problem being that the critical ingredient is exceptionally hard to come by, and our supplies are almost exhausted. Unless we can secure more soon, your brother's anguish will likely become unbearable. My lord, I know that I have no right to make demands of you, but would you help? For Joshua's sake. For Joshua, anything. For Joshua. Anything. I'll let you say it. You do better. Thank you do better you, than I do. My lord. So, what is this critical ingredient? A rare herb by the name of Stonerwort. It grows only where the ether is densest. The vigor it stores in its stems helps to counteract the curse. We discovered a patch near the aqueduct in Rosaria. But alas, yet more ether has erupted from the earth there recently, leaving the whole area flooded. The search continues for a new source. One that we might reach without being turned. So it's only that you can't reach it? The stone and water itself is unharmed by the flood? Well, yes, but... Then I shall go in your stead. Oh, but, my lord... You've yet to find another source, correct? So for now, the aqueduct is our best hope. Besides, I'm a dominant. The ether can't hurt me. Well, if you're sure, my lord. Uh, the Stone dominant. Wart is easily identified by its blood red blooms. Search around the aqueduct, and you're sure to find some soon enough. I shall remain here and prepare the other ingredients. Phoenix, heal thyself. We, uh, since this is the only side quest, we're just gonna go do it. And I'm not sure I want to... I touched on this. I don't know if Ash is like a point of no return. I guess it seems like games uh, of this scale nowadays, instead of just kind of letting you blindly wander into a point of no return, they give you some sort of heads up. So we're going to keep our eyes peeled for that just because if we get there, I want to make sure that I still have the ability to to, to do those, those S-ranked hunts they have. I think, I think we can probably take on Atlas at this point, but Time I'm not in a tremendous hurry to do so or anything yet. But we probably do get some pretty gnarly crafting stuff. I'll mull it over. 
How do I get over there? The other way. This way. Here's the aqueduct. Now to find our stone wart. Yote mentioned blood red petals. Just my luck. Alright, nope. For let's, uh, let's focus on you guys first. Watch out! Good job. Alright, I think he's all that's left. Oh, did I not take that off? I thought I took that off. Oh, my timing. Still not great. Forty-four thousand damage uh, after not having some of the stuff that I kind of wish I would have had. I can't see it. available to me. That is, um, that's a lot. We did all right. Oh, nice. Got that guy. Perfect thing. So, okay, somewhere around here. Blood red. Something's. anything. Oh, there they are. I just went the wrong way. Is that all there is to it? Here it is. We'll probably take him back and then she'll be like, oh, I also need these 17 other items. That wasn't so bad. That should do it. So let's head back. If this is the one side quest that we have, I, this is this could be one of the more snappy ones we've come across in the game. And it's for Joshua. Okay, I will say like I've, I had issues with the side quest at the beginning, and I still think there were there probably are too many. But these these ones in the last I don't know yes, ten episodes or so, I brought back all the stone last couple streams, and they just seem to ha carry more weight. There's more there's more at stake, and I I've appreciated them more than some of the other ones. Yes, my lord. Thank you. I'm sure it will serve us until we can find another source. I'm very glad to hear it. You and His Grace are very much alike, you know. You think only of how you might help others, and never of the danger to yourselves. No more than you have, minding my brother. You've risked a lot for him, and I thank you for it. I am honored that you should say so, but I beg you. My lord, do not give too much of yourself for the sake of others. We could not afford to lose you. I'll keep that in mind.
Yeah, nice and snappy. And who knows, maybe it pushes us up to the next Renown level. I don't know what I need. So 42, we're only three levels away from what Atlas is deemed at. I, th I, th I think Atlas was level 45, so... Maybe we give him a shot. Uh, I don't know. Let's go talk to Harpo Crates. Let's see what he thinks we should do. Good to have a half pound of cheese for lunch. Yeah, I think so. I, I think I think so. I have no reason to assume otherwise. I don't know. I measure my cheese in grams. Five. You must listen to this. How many grams is that? Tell him. Do you recall? The serving size is twenty-eight. On the divinity of Ultima, well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject, and what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of His Grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however, I believe I know where to find a more complete example. One that will reveal all we seek. Master Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? I would think not, if you have. Hi, Bark. There was once a time... I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> ...the oldest known religion in the Twins, and though its popularity eventually waned on Storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the Crystalline Orthodox. Wait. You said it waned on Storm. What of Ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. That seems strange. If no new faith arose then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, you see now why I must accompany you to Walud. It would appear the past still has much to teach us, though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. <laughs> to think that you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along. I am relieved to discover it in good hands. I shall guard it with my life. Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. Sounds like a half day in the bathroom. Um, I am okay now. Yeah, the first hour and a half sucked, because it, uh, it was a throbby pain and achiness, but it feels, it feels good now. It feels fine. Did not help my phobia of bees. Perhaps unsurprisingly. Well, not a fan. Less so, in fact. If you want to see the pictures of the nest, uh, I put them on uh, Twitter. By now, you've all heard where we're going and why. It was about head height. So I'm surprised I didn't get. I sh I I got lucky. Ones. I could have gotten stung a lot sea. more. There's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine. Hi, bird. Flight. Read the read the title. Say we, but it's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention, as well as slow our march and require supplies, which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, if you know of any... It's on my bucket list, bird. Might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though. Just in case, like... Once you've dropped us off of the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters, fly merchant colors, and stay inconspicuous. <laughs> if you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I leaving anyone behind. The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. Jill, the Enterprise will appear a tempting target for royalists and pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. 
Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. You'll be needing passage home, after all. But... Very well. If there are no questions, I'll see you all at the docks. We'll be able to join streams next week. We'll be on vacation. Where are you heading? Sounds exciting. Let me know when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. Of course. Do, 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 do. All right. No new quests. We can go talk to Otto. Finger Lakes, Lake Placid. Watch out for the gators. Or the gator. The one real big gator. I've seen that movie. Maybe it's a crocodile. I don't know. Big bastard. How do you split the sea? There's something wrong. Not at all. Honestly. Can't a man wish his friend farewell? Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order while you're off saving the world. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> okay, Bark. Have fun. All right. We're finally heading to Ash, which should satisfy the across the narrow requirement. Yeah, so that was my first, uh, my first bee sting ever. It was a doozy. Kate, do you want to put the picture of the nest in the Discord? Did it hurt? Yeah, it hurt. And it hurt for like an hour and a half afterwards, too. Yeah, I was a little nervous when it first happened. I was like, well, I guess we're about to find out if I'm allergic. It got me right in the neck. Ugh. And my neck is like stiff because of it. Clive. So this is Ash. There's something I've been meaning to ask. You took her icon, didn't you? Yes, I did. She understood. Oh, she understood. Oh. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save you, will save us all? I do. And so be it. I do. I am interested in playing Baldur's Gate, but I'm not interested in streaming not it. Alone. So it's something that I'll probably play eventually. I <sighs> won't get it until it comes out on PlayStation. Found us a trail. But I'll play it on my own. Uh, did I miss something? Only that Joshua didn't. I don't get it. 
I'm interested in it. Uh, but it's not like is it, CRPGs are not my not my jam typically, excluding Disco Elysium. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if it'll resonate with me or not. Footfalls and Ash. Always wanted to visit Ash. We're in Waluda territory now. Uh, no, I probably would not play it off stream with friends. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over Dude. there looks inviting enough. Go show him the beehive. <laughs> There's your deadliest animal. Oh, why he wants to watch that. Watch the cutest ones. Remember what I said about warm welcomes, Gav. This place is as dead as Grieger's ghost. Not a lot going on around these parts. Do I have a map and everything? Okay, I do. Scathbar, Wolfdar. We do have a Kashik. Uh, these orc like spellcasters they look so big that I don't even it doesn't it takes me a second to remember that oh these are the the spell casting guys they look like they're big bruisers but That's what was happening. I'm not seeing any chests to plunder. Season three of only murders in the building. You know, that's uh, that's one of the shows that I started to watch um, recently, and I fell off of it. I didn't have a good time with it. wasn't doing it for me. Only murders in the building, that is. Yeah, I, it just didn't quite resonate with me. I've heard really good things. Um, and the people that, that you know, have stuck with it uh, adore it. Um, yeah, just not, didn't, didn't, didn't land for me. Yeah, there's like no chests anywhere. I'm even going out of my way. Oh, wrong one. Never mind. I'm done complaining about it.
it's nice to be working on a main a main quest like I said I've, there's a market improvement for me in terms of the, uh, the side quest stakes I want to say quality because the quality is the same you're still kind of doing the same stuff but it just they, they seem to have more um, they seem to carry more weight um, but it's just there are so many of them Please stop hitting me when I'm trying to attack. Oh, you son of a bitch. How far have you gotten, bird? You're not tackling it like doodling? It's, a sh it is, I am shocked that in less than a week he has passed me. <laughs> Or maybe it's been a week now, I don't know. But man, he said what he was working on, I almost pooped my pants. Keep getting the helmet. Okay. So you're making you're making some pretty good progress. Hi, Jack. Yeah, we should go back here. This is like a completely sectioned off area. Got to be something good back here. Maybe. Jack gave you a low. Oh. Was this the right way? Oh, is this one of my S rank tons? Oh. Golly gee, Willikers. Okay. Pandemonium. Well, this isn't what I was expecting. Hi, buddy. Now is not a great time. <laughs> you gotta stop turning my chair. Teleported. I do not almost have it. <laughs> we just we're just getting started. I saw that. You sent the lull face, didn't you? Bird loved it. I will be with you in a little bit, chat. Um, I was not expecting to jump, jump into an S-ranked hunt right now. That is a truly worthless ability. It kind of is, yeah. A <laughs> pad matter? His name is Pandemonium. Yeah. Pandemonium, not Pandemodium. Oh, they can see you. Okay, you gotta stop bumping my chair. I 
I did that. I did that. Oh man, this is gonna be a this is gonna be an ordeal. He's got a lot of life. Let's use this. He's exploding. He sure did. Teleporting is not great. Okay. <laughs> What's up, Alpha? I, uh, I don't feel very confident. Well, I guess we got him past a third of his health gone. But we'll see. I failed. <sighs> Boy, that's not cool. Something that big a teleport is a bit mean. It is. I would have been fine if I didn't get caught in that one attack. That's good to know. Um, I wasn't ready to do s rank hunts anyways, so at least we know where he is. So we found two of them. We know he's there. I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, man. Way back here. I don't know if we even had that as one of our hunts. We didn't have a hunt that had us coming to Ash, I don't think. So, here's the hydrate bark. Here's one for you too, Kate. Too many. I'll drown. I'm saying I'm completing all those. This is what you get. There's supposed to be a cooldown on that. Apparently that's not working. All right, let's go back. I might just scooch past this part this time. Um, we'll go up. Fly, Ambrosia. Oh, it looks like the enemies didn't actually come back. Okay, well that's good. Yeah, we are supposed to get some at some point. It's not supposed to be till later though, so I don't know. Nope, we grabbed that already. Okay. Hi, Timmy. I said hello to Alpha too, right? Hi, Alpha. Welcome in. If we could go ahead and ban that, that'd be awesome. Boy, that's, that's, you know what? That's one thing that I completely forgotten about on Twitch. That's the first uh, spam bot nonsense that uh, I've seen since coming back. 
Timmy said it's back strong. <laughs> Have you been seeing it in a lot of places? That's the first one that I've 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 seen since uh, since coming back. Oh, officially famous again. I did it. I did it. I did it without becoming famous, like they keep promising. Get, I get a little like Elden Ring, uh, little Elden Ring vibe from this view. Eh. Actually, it's actually more impressive in Elden Ring. Is the whole of Ash fallen into Ultima's hands? They keep saying "whole of Ash," and all I can think. Ash hole. We should send and a warning to the others. No, I chuckle on the inside. My uncle will have an eye on the coast. I trust you'll find a way to entertain any uninvited guests. Our mark is Drake's spine, and there's a lot of road between us and it. We press on to stone here. Aye, you never know. It might not be an Estes slaver and monsters. <sighs> Clive, you must go on ahead without me. Uh? This stronghold is as old as Phoenix Gate, perhaps older. It may yet hide <laughs> Ultima's remaining that you got stung secrets. Now. <laughs> and if we are to best him, they must be unearthed. Come on. All of Ash? How can you not? All right. Stay out of trouble. I always do. Mostly. You sure about this? About leaving my brother on his own? Of course. Mostly. Gangs mostly? Oh, gangs. Okay, got it. Got it. Like the gang's all here. Got it. Okay, yes. At first I was like, why are we talking about gangs? Lady Vivian's map is so old, it's hard to tell which way is up. But if I'm right, we're not far from a village called Eastla. Eastla. Oh, we there. Resupply. What do we got? We got. Okay, this is what. Okay, we came up that way. No, we didn't. Hold on. What's this gate? Oh, it's just a random gate. Okay. Got to pet the Torgle. You were right, boy. Now, is this just how this world is supposed to, or this continent looks, or is this? I mean, there's still leaves and stuff. That tree looks dead. Is this? Is this affected by the blight? I know parts of ash are. Okay. Yeah. No, that's affected by the blight. Okay. All right. Cool. I mean, not cool. Sucks. Sucks for them. But. Fifteen minutes of rain. Fifteen minutes until rain. With probably two minutes of rain. Yeah, we've had a rough summer with rain. I've, I've watched so many, like, massive storm systems just fall to pieces as soon as it gets to our city limits. It's kind of crazy. In the most frustrating way possible. Let's go check out this little guy. Not too interested in fighting some of these random enemies. Faster. Yeah, it's actually gotten it's, it's actually gotten a little better the last um, the last week or so. We've got we had one like full not full, it felt like a full day. But we got had one good day of rain. I can't, uh, I can't do chests on the triple board. Oh, I bet I can't do chests because I'm fighting. That makes more sense. 
Yes, NES Pokemon Stadium. Oh yeah, they added some. Uh, they added. What did they add? They added Pokemon Trading Card Game and Pokemon Stadium 2. And by the way, I think it's the Nintendo 64 version. You mean? Okay. Uh, they added that to uh, the Nintendo Switch Online stuff. I never played the trading card game. I don't know anything. Well, okay, that's not that's not true. I can't say I don't know anything about it. It's a trading card game. I get it. But I never played it myself. That must be. Is that Game Boy? Game Boy, okay, gotcha. Okay, so back this... Okay, between those. This feels like maybe where we're gonna find another one of those stone... Uh, obelisk. Ooh, thunder! Ooh, Nintendo. But why? Fly, Ambrosia. Uh, I'm actually a virtual boy. That's what I am. There it is. What else is over here? I don't have any interest in doing those things. Chronoliths. That's what they're called. What? Mazamoon? Mazamune? I don't know how to say it. It's not as good. Oh, I see. You don't like Nintendo because you didn't buy their product. Got it. Got it. No, that checks out. <laughs> I understand. Ah, uh, we can go straight. With a marker, I think. Ooh. Run like the it's wind. like a big old bridge. Chasing me. Stuck. I forgot to set my standing timer. Air near. Air near. I don't want to fight you though, so I'm not going to. You probably won't follow me across the bridge, right? Oh, much breath. Uh, it's like a throwback to Final Fantasy VII. Look down, Toggle. You're on your way to uh, the Gold Saucer. Ooh. Yeah. 
Except that's a railroad track, not a bridge, obviously. That must be Estla. Are you digging it, Alpha? Your Baldur's Gate three. Oopsies. <clears throat> How do you make a 200 hour game longer? You start over. Hey, if you didn't, if you didn't like what you had, it's a good idea. Think, Clive. They were too late. It's eight hours in, so not really not much of a loss. Yeah, there are entire games that are less than eight hours, but that's fine. <laughs> Damn it! They're all turned. There's nothing we can do. I wouldn't say nothing. We can slice them to ribbons. Oh, there's a lot of you guys. I got that for. I could click on it, but. I dealt an injured bird, but it was mad at me because I was. Because it was trying to rest? The bird was trying to rest, you were trying to help it, and it's like, no. So was it injured or just resting? Oh, damn, it was a <laughs> shit shit. Powerball winnings off it doesn't finish Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, I would like to do something, some sort of wager with your Powerball winnings as well then. Like, I bet you won't give me half. Wait, I bet you will give me half. Go take care of this guy. Not like that. It's Thank you for the five biddies. Oh my god, another one of these? Uh, I thought we were done.
should be able to get him in one stagger. Oh yeah. Easily. We played inscription. Oh, what'd you think to me? That game is dope. Inscription's very good. Jack called me off for saying a bad word. What did I say? Go take your nap. <laughs> I don't know what I said. Sorry, sorry, Jack. Earmuffs. 18 plus stream. Exactly how I wanted that fight to start out. Could not have drawn it up better myself. Okay, how about we fixate on the one enemy that's here? Not sure why we decided not to do that. Yeah, okay. Cool, 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 cool. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Would like to not be stuck anymore. God, why can't I not get out of the way of that? Oh, go Torgo. That was a marathon fight. There was all kinds of stuff happening there. Take a moment, he's 21. Drinks a bird. <laughs> You'll be very old. You won't be that old. Come on. Come on. 